you are talking extremely slow. Yeah. So if I talk like this, there's like I'm talking like a normal spot. Mm. Uh, no. The golem entity with two arcane flame jets coming out of the bottom of the feet. Oh, he's got jetpacks! Go! Go try to jump! You want me to jump out? I'm jumping the piss of you! We gotta go now. I can't see how far you can go! Go to my feet! I'm an experiment! (laughs) We know ahead of time what it is instead of decapitating you by accident. You wanna hit me with it? (laughs) See what happens? I'm I'm a little little rough. Anybody else a little rough? rough? I place a hand on Caduceus and I give him one hit point. <laughs> <laughs> the speed you move is three times your intelligence score. So Caleb and Beauregard in the space can travel quicker than anybody, and Caduceus is kind of holding up the caboose. The cabooses rests a terrifying behemoth that challenges the darkest of your nightmares. <laughs> this is way worse than I thought. <laughs> the, the jock opens up, the teeth lining it, the little tiny frumpkin kind of floating in space before it, kind of looking back at Caleb going, Caduceus, <laughs> going in or, or leaving? I think speak going in. Speak your truth. <laughs> Laura, going in. Going in. Sam, speak your no! truth. <laughs> Liam, speak your truth. Caleb starts floating towards the back. <laughs> Here's the thing, we already discovered this teleportation sigil. Oh, wonderful. We threw a cat at it, and it looked like the cat evaporated. Right now, Caleb turns and looks at the audience like that little girl in front of the burning house. <laughs> <laughs>